before this happened, we were talking, I'm sure you're probably still working on it, um, in that by eight mile in, um, in Gratiot, Kelly, Shaner area, in 48205, the nice areas. Yeah, oh yeah, the one on the... Yeah. Yeah, that lady actually ended up selling it to her brother or something. Gotcha. Yeah, because the one that had the the lien on it from the Detroit Housing Authority or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually that ended up, there was two things. There was, there was some other title issue that we couldn't clear and she had to move to Georgia like now. So she got her, some family member gave her some cash so she could get out of town and take over the house. So yeah, that would have been a sweet deal too. I could have pulled easy pulled 15, 20 out of that property. Yeah. Yeah. That that's a hot little area right there. That's, you know, uh, you know, Monique Burns. Yep. Yeah. She loved, that's her, that's her neighborhood right yep. there. Her and Pat. Yep. Yeah. So I, I mean, I called her initially, but, I think a lot of her investors that she manages for are pulling out because um, she texted me and, and was trying to sell a couple of them. Uh, she wanted to list them. And I said, well, Monique, you can't do that. So she said, well, I already got the buyer. I said, well, then just put it on the contract that you're, they're paying you a commission. That's all you got to do. You right. don't have to list it. I can list it for her. <laughs> well, I, I, I kind of politely told her to do something else that, yeah, you know, I'm not, I can't, I'll make an exception if it's your mom's house or something for a couple right, of these right. guys. But if you get an investor who's overseas, I mean, that's just, that's just a nightmare for me to start happening. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree. All right. So hopefully we'll start getting a lot of people on this. I want to figure out how, hopefully I can figure out how to do this through Facebook and things like that. But, um, I'm definitely excited about it. I'm, we're going to do more classes and, and you know, maybe a wholesale class or something like that. Did you push it out to your buyer's list? You know, I, I got to do that. No, I didn't. My yeah. MailChimp, I didn't, like, email it to everyone, you know, because I think about it the morning of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. No way. <laughs> Well, the next time I'll push it out to my list. The next time you set it up, yeah. Even, even if I don't come, I'll push it out there. I appreciate that. Oh, well, Todd, are you going to do it like a standing on Thursdays? Because the same link, it'll always be the same meetup if you are or meeting. Yeah. Every, every, every it's already posted through the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm right here on the Zoom. Yeah. This is a light attendance because we didn't we didn't get it up till yeah. yesterday. I'm, ter I'm terrible at that too myself. Really. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sure. But um, all right. Anyone else need? Oh, I want to share. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, some of those hot deals Todd talks about. I'm the lead generator on it. <laughs> but uh, uh, we've got an event on Tuesday. We're going to talk about how to generate leads. We're going to get all the tricks that we know how to uh, make the phones ring. So uh, that's a good one to tune in on. It's a free meeting. It'll be on Zoom just like this. And it's already on our meetup. That's going to be Tuesday, Mark, right? Tuesday. Yep. Awesome. Yep. It's already posted. I posted it while we were talking. <laughs> we, we, uh, we ran a TV commercial for four weeks right when COVID started. 650 responses. Wow. Just blew up our online. Yeah. Now, probably 40% of those were Detroit because it was very broad. And then, but it, my point being is, where was everybody sitting? We couldn't have done that timing any better. But everybody's sitting at home watching Netflix, right? Flipping through the channel. So it was like, we couldn't have, couldn't have, we couldn't have timed it better in regards to that. Let me mute some people. Hang on. Yeah, um, I hear TV commercials, um, a lot of that, people are just killing it because it's less competition. Right. And, um, you know. It's not that, exp it's not as uh, that expensive. I spent less on that than I did on direct mail for, you know, two months prior to that. Right. You know, so, I mean, it was just a matter of the timing. 
that yeah. everybody's just sitting at home and grumbling and what you know on their phones with Facebook and all of that. There was there was just a perfect storm that happened. So right. sorry about that, Mark. I didn't mean to cut in there for you. I got a I'll let I, um I got a quick question for you, Ron. When you get a deal, um, where do you pitch it out to your list? What what are your sources of getting it out there? Do you go crazy and get it everywhere? Or do you just pretty much? Well, the, the first step is it goes on that spreadsheet at waymarkinventory.com. Mm -hmm. And then Jessica, once we get the contract and all the photos set up, then we build it into our, we have a system called Clavio, which is much like MailChimp. It goes out within a day or two of that. And then I just let her gauge. Jessica's the one that's running disposition on the on that side. Mm -hmm. And then I just I, we just kind of we talk about it once a week and what everything is going on. I can see the response rate. I, just like I'm sure in Mailchimp, you can see yeah. who opens it. It's interesting. I've been getting about 35, 40 percent of people opening up my email lately. Um, which the system I was using before, I never got that kind of response. Right. And I can also see who clicks on the photo link. And then it tells me exactly who those people are, right? Yeah. So generally what I do within a week, if I don't get any, any hits on it, I'll just specifically send it back to those people just to kind of refresh it. Um, and then every, every, every or twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, I send my inventory out. So it'll hit your inbox usually in the morning on Tuesdays and Fridays. And it just has that link to that spreadsheet. So I'm, I'm really trying to teach people to look at that spreadsheet, right? Get up in the morning. If you're really serious about buying houses, click on that silly link and look, right? You don't have to text me. You don't have to call me. You don't have to do anything. Just look. And if you're interested, then, then you reach out to Jessica and she'll set it up. Whether it's got a lockbox or you need an appointment. Um, yeah. I have found that consistency obviously is the best. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck off of Facebook, you know, uh, you know, but I'm not sure why, um, back when COVID started, I went out and got for the houses I owned, I went out and got 3d videos for everything so that agents could see them. I'm using um, your same guy. Are you? Yeah. Bill. Yeah. That guy's great. Yep. Yeah. And he's, uh, He's a true, he's all over Facebook with the, you know, Whitner stuff, this like, just banging on her. Like, yeah. Uh, but anyway, he, cause I reached out to him and asked him, I says, are you working? You know, or would you, would you go out and do these? He did 11 of them in like in a day and a half back when driving around could get you in trouble. Yeah. Um, he did a great job and yeah. 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 So it's worked. You know, I, what I've been doing is taking that 3D video and posting it to Facebook, yeah. you know, because it, it's kind of an easy cut and paste, you know, yeah. to it or copy paste to it and then just doing a couple of verbs and then the address is right on that video. Yeah. You know, and then they can respond back to it. It helps. That also helps Bill because that, it's on his site, right? So it helps the traffic to his stuff to, yeah. you know, to give him some exposure also. And he's really... He's really reasonable. Yeah. Oh, and you can, he, he'll allow you to pay at closing. I know Mike Lindsay used them for one of his houses here. Um, and I've been referring them out to everybody. And Yeah, me too. Yeah. And, and um, I got them from you because I seen that exactly. You said you mentioned it somehow, somewhere. Yeah. I seen you. Yeah, he, he, he was A1. I mean, he handled his business just like he told me he would. And, uh, the time that he told me he would have it back, he had it back, and yeah. I had to upload it and upload all of my spear and everything um, in hours. So, yeah, he's he's one hundred legit. Yep, absolutely. And it's amazing that that three D what it shows too, right? I mean, it's it's a lot better. I mean, it's a lot more intuitive than a photo, even though Detroit knew whatever that whatever Jeremy's pro person is. They do a great job too, but it still doesn't, it doesn't compare to those videos. Right. So Ron, are you using those videos? Do you put the properties up on the MLS and then you're using those videos also yes. for the MLS as well? Yeah. As the virtual tour? Correct. Okay. Now, 
if you put it into, if you upload it to real comp and you tag it as a 3d, a 3d tour, it, it's got this little circle thing and it's like the agents don't know what that is. So I just changed the label to, to video and then it puts a little camera there. So it, it's more obvious what that's what that button's for. Yeah, Real Comp rolled that out kind of uh, under the cloak of darkness, and <laughs> when they yeah. changed that stuff up, because it used to be a video camera, it used yeah. to be really, you know kind of self-explanatory when you were looking at things. But yeah, no, this that reel is like it's supposed to be like film, ha ha ha. But people don't understand that. So. And it was interesting as I, I, you know, I, in the agent remarks, I said, "Call me for access." You know, try to get these agents to, because I was okay with showing my houses. They're all empty anyway. So it's not like I've only got one house that's got a tenant in it, but I didn't do the video and I wouldn't show it because of, for the obvious reasons. Right. And it took a little while for them to figure that out. Just pick up the phone and call me. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I'll, I was going to all kinds of houses. Yes. Right. <laughs> 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 like who's going to get COVID in my junk house that's got more mold in it than COVID anyway. Right. Yeah. They're going to die more from the, they would have more respiratory issues from the mold. <laughs> right. I was working with some buyers and we we're, as long as the house was vacant, we we're going yeah. to, you know, if someone was in there, I understand completely. And we did one, they did a, they had the homeowner do a video like a zoom or yeah, like a zoom video and you walk through the house and that it was all right. Yeah. But, you know, we, uh, we actually created our own zoom account. So if you go to, I think it's waymark showings.com or something like that, that you can send that link to a, to a homeowner and all they got your text and all they got to do is click on it because you don't need the app for it to work. So we probably did, I don't know, three, four or five showing or appointments that way at the very beginning. Yeah where they would just turn their phone around and walk through the house and talk about it. And yeah. You know, now I don't think we actually bought any of those houses because it was just difficult. You know, the, the whole thing was just challenging because now you got to email them the offer and they don't know how to click on the authentic sign. And, you know, it's just, <laughs> it was, I mean, it, you got to realize how techie the world really isn't when you have to use all the technology to do something. Right. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, but we're, I think that what we're going to do is still do that as things progress back, Yep. you know, to use it as doing out, out of area type appointments, as opposed to in, you know, if you get something that's up North or something, you know, why can't we do it that way and just use a 60 day option on the contract? Why can't we do that? Right. You know, and just with the way Facebook works and this Zillow <clears throat> looking for agents up in that neighborhood, you know, just do a circle around it, look for the agents and talk to them about it. I think we can, I mean, virtual wholesaling isn't a, isn't a new thing. Right. I just think that guys like you and me who are very volume oriented. It's, it's hard to want to do it that way. I think I, I don't, didn't have the mindset to even want to do it till just recently. Right. If and I'm gonna, to do it, we'll figure it out. Right. Right. I just, I mean, it was, it was a matter of survival. Yeah. <laughs> really? Literally. I mean, it just cut me off at the knees overnight. <laughs> for what we do and then of course the wholesale stuff really isn't wasn't selling well at the beginning of it right right and then because the pretty houses were still selling because they could at least they could see nice photos online and you know then they would just write the offer make it subject to that walkthrough and then they would do the inspection right but in our houses you know that's that's too many steps yeah to get it done right so it was just difficult even now it's still a little it was still it's still a little more difficult to get things accomplished. Yeah. Yep. You just got to get them cheaper and. Right. You just got to get them cheaper. That's right. Yep. Get them cheaper and sell them a little cheaper. Hopefully. Yep. You don't, but yeah. We got to sell them. Just don't be too greedy. You know, yeah. I haven't been negotiating a whole bunch with people that come to me with offers on my stuff. I just kind of, I just kind of gauge it. Like how fast do I really want to do this? And who is that buyer? You know, that yep. guy's bought 10 houses from me. I'm taking that deal. Let's just yeah. get it done, right? Yep, yep, yep. Hey, Mark. Um, sorry to cut. Yeah, cut. sorry, dude. <laughs> Let me unmute you. Oh no, that's fine. I I talked. I said yeah. what I wanted. I know Mark, <laughs> Mark sends me 
um, a lot of good leads, like that Westland lead um, came from it came from Mark, and um, yeah, we got a few other leads that we're working on. So and that, that's what our meetup's going to be about on Tuesday: is um, how to find leads. I mean, there's just so many, so many ways of doing it. And my suggestion for new guys, new wholesalers, is pick one or two ways maybe the most too inexpensive way, you know, 